Happy 2024! But before we get this new year started, let's take a look at all the new plushies I added to my collection in 2023. I got a total of 38 new plushies this year. That's just from what I could figure out. I went through like my Instagram stories of the past and a few videos that I've done to try and figure out exactly which ones I bought this year. And going back through, I was actually surprised that I've only had some of these for a year because some of them I feel like have been such a staple in my collection for much, much longer. But these are all from 2023. So rather than ranking them, because that is a lot to rank, I'm probably going to group some of them up, like Build-A-Bears, Special Occasions, stuff like that. And we're going to go through this list. So like I said before, I might have missed a few. I don't think I did, but it, it's time's crazy, man. Time's crazy. But first we got our Build-A-Bears. We had four Build-A-Bears this year. Sprigatito. Teddy Ursa. This is a lot harder than I thought. Mudkip, because they're so large. And Growlithe. Growlithe was this year. That's so crazy. And Teddy Ursa was this year. Like, first, one of my first plushes of the year was Teddy Ursa. So that's kind of crazy. Because I feel like I've had it for so long. But Build a Bears are a staple in my collection. We've done quite a few videos on Build a Bears. They. Honestly, just some of these have great proportions and they're really nice size, especially for their price. Most of the time I get them for like $30 for how big they are. That's a good price when it comes to Pokemon plush. You may think it's not, but it really is. Okay. I don't do the online bundles. I try to go in store to save that little bit of money because I feel like the online bundles are usually $60 so I go in store so I can just get the plushie for $30. Guys, oh my gosh, somehow I forgot about Mimikyu. So we got five Build-A-Bears this year and obviously Mimikyu had to have his hat and tie but it was such a big pile he was hidden underneath. I did not forget about my boy Mimikyu because he is always so dapper. Next up, I got two of the Target sleeping plushies. I got Pichu for my birthday for my daughter. She picked out Pichu specifically. And, of course, we had to get Round Boy Rowlet. What would life be without such a perfect round boy? Only two this year. We were looking for Score Bunny for a long time. I saw it, but I couldn't buy it at the time. Maybe next year. Okay, these were a few that were, like, mind-blowing to me that they came out in 2023 or I got them in 2023. I think they came out in 2023. But I got four different Hisuian plushes. We got Hisuian Gudra, Hisuian Arganine, and both the regular and shiny version of Hisuian Zoroa because I can't skip a shiny. I love Hisuian Pokemon. They, I love Hisui. I hope, you know... February, we got Pokemon Day. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get another Legends game. Those were so much fun. I love them. It was just like a nice little difference to the game. Please, 2024, announce us another Legends game. This was also a great year for Paldean Pokemon plushes, obviously. In 2022, Scarlet Violet came out, so slowly we have gotten Paldean Pokemon as plushies, and I got four this year. We have Fido, of course, Pommy, also of course, both are on my team, Smoliv, because we all need a little sad boy sometimes, and of course my legendary Maridon. I feel like Maridon was a gift. But I honestly can't remember what for. Or I bought it. I know the other ones I bought. But we love them irregardless. There's been a bunch announced that haven't come to the U.S. yet. Like for Rigoraf, um, Mousehold, Tandem Mouse. 
that fluffy Gravard, that fluffy Mabostiv. So I have been waiting for them. So you know they're on my list right now. You know what kind of went ham this year is Jazzwares. Jazzwares came out with so many unique regular size Pokemon plushes this year. We have Fancy. We have God himself, Bidoof. We have Darumaka, uh, Gen 5 confirmed. We have Gibble. We have Quagsire. This is uh, the last plush I bought of 2023. And we have Horsey. Like, oh, and Amolga. Like, who, who decided these? Because thank you. Thank you for giving us some diversity in the plushie game because it is so much easier for me. I have like this anxiety about buying things online. Pokemon Center is a totally different thing. Obviously, it's a trusted website to me. But I don't like buying things online all the time. But buying things in store, I have no impulse control. I will find them and I will get them. And I was hunting Horsey down for a long time. A long time. And obviously, I got it. But these, these picks of Pokemon, I'm here for it. Bring more of this to 2024. Surprisingly, I didn't get that many sitting cuties this year, although I like to have a variety of sizes in my plushes. Um, we only got three. Obviously, I had to get my black and white starter and the evolution because I didn't have them. I do want Servine, but I have to be picky sometimes because I am not made of money, unfortunately. And Sawsbuck was actually a gift for my husband because I was working on a Sawsbuck Christmas decoration, just like my Halloween ones. They're not quite finished yet. I'm almost done with them. I've been sick for over a month. So unfortunately, they did not get done before the holidays. But they're mostly, you know, ice types. So they can just be winter decorations. But I had to get them. I'm pretty sure Gen 5 did release this year. I definitely have other sitting cuties on my list. But, you know, we got a budget around here. My feet were dying from squatting, so I brought us down a little bit. But I have a bunch of, like, other plushes that are kind of, like, random. I didn't get, like, a whole bunch of them. Um, we have this adorable Sleeping Oshawott. I am an absolute sucker for sleeping Pokemon. A lot of them come very big. So I am happy that we do have a few small ones out there as well. We have Sleeping Jirachi, like I said... An absolute sucker for sleeping ones. This one actually glows in the dark. I don't think I leave it in enough light for it to actually glow, but I have seen it glow, okay? And, like, this brings so many fond memories. I used to watch the Jirachi movie all the time, so I had to get cute little sleeping Jirachi. Meowscarada, my starter for Scarlet and Violet, obviously has to be in my collection. Me and my husband are trying to get my whole team in plushies. Um, a lot of them haven't come out yet, unfortunately. Um, Mouscarada, Cerulege is out there. We haven't gotten it yet because it is, you know, these guys are a little more expensive. They're a little bit bigger. They are very detailed. Um, but then Doxbun hasn't come out. Palfin, I think, has, but not in America. Um, Palma has not come out. And then I've had Jolteon on my team since forever. He said Aspartha does not count anymore because I kicked her off for Jolteon. Um, but I obviously have quite a few Jolteons, but he's, he still wants to get me one that's different and maybe will match them better. But anyway, enough about Mouse Grotto, even though we love her. Um, one of my all-time favorite plushes is this Vaporeon plush that's so soft. I love this line so much. I wish I could have gotten the other two, but again, we got a budget around here. I know it's sad, so we had to pick one and like... Look at it. It's been a, almost a year. The frill is still standing on its own. She's still lovely and beautiful and still so soft. And the last one of our random group is my giant slowpoke. This was a Christmas gift. My daughter picked him out. She knew I wanted the slowpoke. I couldn't resist. So she picked him out for me and we got him. He's part of the collection. I think we all know by now I love getting the holiday plushes and decorating with them. So for Easter this year, I got this little Lechon keychain. 
I don't usually get the keychains. Um, I do think I needed to add something to my cart to get free shipping because if I'm going to pay money, I'm going to get something, not shipping. So I did get LeChonk because it's cute. It's still cute. It's in a bow. I just like am not the biggest fan of keychains. I would have rather had it without the keychain. I could clip it off, but I'm, I'm not going to. And of course, the most adorable thing ever, this little Togepi in a little egg basket. Like, I absolutely had to get this. Again, sleeping plush. She comes out of the basket. She is a full plush on her own and goes back in like the perfect Easter decoration. Okay, Halloween is my favorite holiday, so obviously I had to get the Halloween plushes, and they have really popped off this year. We didn't get all of the key change because I would have gotten the Sprigatito. I would have. As much as I just said I don't like keychains, anything Sprigatito, I'll be there. Same with Eevee. They're like my top two favorites that are just like cutesy Pokemon. But we did get Gengar as a sushi chef. He's so cute. He has his own onigiri. Sorry if I mess up. Or jelly donuts if you're a 90s kid um, and they try to localize onigiri. But he is so cute. And then I have noticed, I don't know if they always did this. But I just noticed recently, like this year, that they do put these costume plushes in Pokemon Go. So that was also exciting to get him in Pokemon Go. And then we did get Gravard in his Houndstone pumpkin. We had to. We had to. Like, how could you not? Um, this is actually the first Gravard plush that came to America. I think it was... There was another one, but it didn't come to America. Um... And there's another another one out that I'm waiting for. Okay? I'm waiting for it. But they, like, popped off. I was, oh, these plushes were great. A thousand out of ten. And we just had Christmas. So some of these plushes are probably very familiar to you. Psyduck, our cute little Psyduck plush. I just got him for my husband for Christmas. He knew. I mean, I kind of told him, but he still knew. He knew he had, he had to at least get one. And, of course, Palmy with the head tilt. Love the head tilt. Love Palmy. Palmy, Palmot, Palmo was on my team. So they have a special place in my heart. There's still a lot of Palmy plushes that have already come out that I want. They're adorable. Palmy's adorable. I'm not usually one for the Pikachu clone, but something about Palmy really got me this time. And last, but definitely not least... Probably one of my favorite additions to the collection are my bride and groom, Pikachu. My husband and I got married this year in June, so obviously I had to have something. I didn't want to go all out Pokemon because that's just not, it, it looks like my vibe, but it's not my whole vibe, especially for my wedding, but I had to have something. And so I got these guys, they did sit at my head table it was just, like, the perfect thing to kind of just commemorate our wedding. We're both, like, we've always bonded over Pokemon and video games, so I had to get them. I had to. They're so cute, so well done, and just stunning. I want to thank you all for all the support I got in 2023. It was a huge year for my social medias in general. Um, I continue to grow every day and I appreciate all the support. I'm really hoping to make 2024 my year and make all the content I can. I would love to be able to go to Pokemon events like Pokemon Go Fest or regionals or nationals. Anything I can get my hands on. Money is always a little tight when you are raising a family. That's just how it is. But as much as I can do, I'm going to do. So 2024 is going to be our year. So make sure you like and subscribe to support me and my content. And tell me what you're looking most forward to in 2024. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!